us today, and that's uh, Mr. Tonga from Norway, uh, from Norway, of the Agnes Abu, the moderator of the second topic, and then the General Secretary of OECD will also join us in a few minutes' time. I'm Maya Minister, Director of Communication, and I'm very happy to welcome also the People Forum as combined, and feel free to also ask questions whenever you have any questions to the panel. And then I would like to ask Patricia Calva to take us the lead on the Norwegian perspective. Thank you. Uh, for the Church of Norway, this is a great event to, to be the host of this uh, WCC meeting because um, uh, it is uh, an, uh, an uh, opportunity for us to, uh, to show in practical hosting manner that we very much uh, evaluate the ecumenical work. Uh, it is not only because we have the General Secretary for Norway, but it's uh, moreover is a part of a long history and tradition where the ecumenical relations means a lot to us, also because we are we are a small church in, in some perspective, but even though we have through the years had many international relations, not least through our missionary work and also recent VC work. So this is an exhibition that um, brings us to this situation, and, uh, and it also brings uh, the, uh, the honor and also the joy that we invite to the city of Trondheim, which is, a, uh, we must say, the, the main capital for, for the Church of Norway due to the history, and also with the, um, the big cathedral in the center of the city where we are to celebrate this evening. So it is uh, from our hearts that we are welcoming this meeting and all the guests taking part in it. Thank you very much, Bishop Helga. May I ask the moderator to join Angela Chesses, Dr. Agnes Abu. What's the main focus for the Central Committee this week? As you could see, the main focus of our Central Committee is basically to share our reflections, pray together, journey together in the pilgrimage as we discern the landscapes. But before we do that, we are also here to affirm the solidarity we have with many churches because by hosting us, the Church of Norway, does affirm that we walk hand in hand. So the workers is not an isolated structure out there in Geneva. Secondly, coming to Trondheim is a reminder for us that we are a pilgrim. We are pilgrims. We are a people of the way. And we want to rediscover ourselves as the ecumenical movement, how we move together, what does it mean to be pilgrims in the 21st century, who else do we need to bring on board that is not yet there, what are those challenges that we need to carry with us uh, that our churches men and women of good faith and good will are actually struggling with. More importantly, to reaffirm the vision of the ecumenical movement, which is fellowshipping together, seeking unity of the church and unity of humankind. Thank you very much, moderator. May I ask the General Secretary, Ulla Zweig, about the main challenges for the World Council Churches at this moment. The World Council Churches are facing the same challenges as our member churches are facing, because we are the member churches. In that sense, what has been presented to us this morning in the address of the moderator is a wide expose of racism, of xenophobia, of ecological injustice, of situations of wars and conflict and discrimination. But we also, as a world council of churches, has the great challenge to find a way to address this together and how we can empower one another as a fellowship of churches and also find our particular contribution to make a difference. Then it's a challenge for us to find now what does it mean actually to be churches in this equation? How is our spirituality, how is our faith really motivating us, but also making a contribution into this 
discourses in the world about the future of one humanity and our planet. Mm -hmm. I think we are in a very significant moment of the ecumenical movement, but also for the world country churches, to discern our common way forward. That is maybe the biggest challenge, but also the great opportunity for the group. I have received a question online to the moderator, Dr. Angus Abu, regarding the solidarity visit to US. You said in, during your, your presentation that this is a step for the churches in the US to deal with. What would be your most important recommendation to them at this moment? As I said, it is not <coughs> only an American challenge, it's a global challenge. But we did propose in my presentation that together with the World Council of Churches and the churches in the US, we design appropriate interventions that will empower the churches to address this renewed vigor of racism. I would suggest that as the churches in the states meet and as we accompany them, that there is space to review our previous work together, where they are at and the gains we have made, and then the new challenges that uh, racism is posing. That is for the US, but remember I also mentioned that this is a global issue that we need to bring back on our agenda in the pilgrimage of justice and peace. Thank you. And then I have a second question to Bishop Helga regarding the pre-meeting on the indigenous people taking place for one day ago. Mm -hmm. uh, were you able to see the statement from, from the meeting? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what's the role of the indigenous people in the Church of Norway? Uh, we have in, uh, in Norway, we have uh, different groups within the Sami people. And um, through... Uh, the last, uh, I must say, the last 20 years, uh, the, the situation for Sami people has changed uh, in many ways. And within our church, it has been a gift to include more visibly the Sami people. And that has not been only by words, but also in practical life. So I, I must say that this has been an eye opener to many of us to see what is the history of the Sami people but also that uh, bringing into our communities this, um, the language of the Sami and also the culture and also uh, what they have brought into the theological thinking has been a gift to us. So I think that in Norway we are on, on, a, on a good track to, to really um, make them a part of the Church of Norway in a way that they also embrace themselves. And I also want to underline that this has been also done by people being very dedicated to this, very skilled in this, and the, the conference from the, for the indigenous people in the Trondheim is a result of the work that has been done through the years, not at least among the Sami people of Norway. And I have heard from the conference that it's been stories very moving, but also giving uh, knowledge of the situation for indigenous people all over the world. And I think for the churches, it is very important to be aware of that and to get to know the situation, but also bring this question out of the theoretical sphere into the practical life and really embrace them and include them so they're on their own, on, on their own premises. Thank you very much. Any other questions in the room? Then I think it's time to finalize the first open mm -hmm. press conference and we'll be back tomorrow morning with more information and you are always able to ask for interviews. Please send an email. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your presence. Thank you.